What do you got? I got something that a car guy just can't live without, and it's a sun tune-up tester. It doesn't fit through the front door? Or? Well, it would be quite a challenge to get through that front door. Now, why don't you bring it to the back? I uh, got a storage place back there. OK, great. Come on, Dad. I'm not sure what this guy has, but I am a car guy, so we might as well look at it. Haven't these things been replaced by a laptop? No, I think they've been replaced by a smartphone. Uh... <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to try and sell my son tune-up tester. I need to sell it because I just don't have the room for it. I'd like to get $600 for it, but I might consider a little less. Where'd you get this thing? Back in the day, I was a tune-up mechanic and used one of these. And about 10 years ago, I tried to find one, and I found a community college that had 10 of them in a lot. So you wanted one of these pretty bad. Why? Every once in a while, you run into a problem, you just can't figure it out. So you can either replace all the whole ignition system, or you can take a scope like this and put it on there, and you can fix exactly what the problem is. I mean, back in the day, this was a really big deal. You really needed one of these to work on a car. Machines like this were a great innovation. It saved mechanics a lot of time trying to figure out what was wrong with a car. Pretty futuristic stuff for the time. So how's this thing work? It's pretty simple. This measures volts and ohms, OK? This measured how much vacuum you're getting off it, and a uh, tachometer. And is that an actual oscilloscope? It basically is an oscilloscope, yes. It's a lot different nowadays. I mean, literally, you can just plug into uh, the car, and it'll tell you the coil pack is bad on cylinder number seven. Um, but back in the day, you needed all this stuff. There wasn't as easy to test a motor. This thing is pretty outdated in terms of technology. But on old cars, some mechanics can actually use this. Should we just hook it up to the car to see what it does? Do you mind? No, I'd be glad to. So this arm swings out. I feel like we're about to go into surgery or something here. Oh, nice engine. All right, this goes on the number one plug wire and on the Volkswagen that's up here. This goes on the wire to the coil, which is right here. This goes to ground, and then this goes to the coil. All right, if I get somebody to start the engine up. All right. You're seeing where the points are opening and closing, and this is the coil that's firing. And we can see the spark plugs, and they're all pretty even. That's pretty good. Now, if we want to see if we suspect one cylinder's bad, we could turn one cylinder off. You're pressing these buttons. Are you actually killing cylinders in the car? Correct. And you can turn the car off from this? Sure. I'm impressed. It's definitely cool that this thing still works, but it's still a tough sell. I got to find a guy who still uses equipment like this. So how much do you want for it? Uh, I'm thinking 600 is the bargain of the century for you. Ugh. I'll give you 200 bucks for it. It, it. It's so outdated. There's so few people in the world. Why would you even pay 200 for it? <laughs> because there's those old guys out there, like Danny, who refuse to learn the new stuff that might still be interested in it. You have it in your shop, and people come by and think you're the coolest mechanic in the whole world. Well, how about 400? I mean, I just don't know if it'll sell, and it takes up so much space. How about 300? I mean, I gave you a free diagnosis on your engine, and 275. Uh, well, as long as you promise not to tease me when I cry when I have to leave this here, it's All a right, deal. No problem. Uh, thank you're you. Insane. What do I even call this thing? It's a Sun tune-up tester. It's right there on the front of it. All right, man, follow me. We made a deal on 275, and since I'm in the middle of moving, it's going to come in more than handy. It was the stupidest thing you ever bought. It is not stupid, OK? The, I... the entire thing's been replaced by a laptop. If I brought my car somewhere and they were using one of those, I would leave. What the okay, hell okay. are you two talking about? OK, I bought like a 1970s, 1980s old school car analyzer. Might as well go throw it in the trash. To be a small business owner, you got to have imagination. And these guys have none. They give me crap every time I buy something just a little outside the box. But at the end of the day, I always end up making money. So I don't know why they even bother. I have a buyer lined up. Who? Danny. Why would? Hey, what did you pay for the damn thing? 275 bucks. At times, you're a friggin' idiot. I don't understand why I never get any love in this family. It's ridiculous. You don't deserve any. Good to see you, Corey. Good to see you, Rick. Always. What you guys uh, call me down for? I got something really cool. I want you to come and check it out. Just bye. All right. All right. Come on, chum. The guys usually call me to come down and check out either a car or a motorcycle or anything automotive or truck related. 
You don't see this every day, brother. Today, they kind of flipped the script on me. Rick said, come on down, I got something for you to look at. I figured, okay, it's gonna be another car. Now, piece of equipment this time. This is cool, man. It looks like something out of a laboratory. It talks to old cars. I like that. You can check your compression on each cylinder with this as well. It helps you tune your carburetor. All right, million dollar question. You wanna buy it? Hey, I, I was easing him into that, all right? Okay, so that's why you call me. Does it all work? It's cheap enough and it does work. What's your definition of cheap enough? 500 bucks. This thing literally had to cost like six or $7,000 when it was new. Well, yeah, but you know, so did a Yugo. <laughs> <laughs> what will you give me for it? How about 100 bucks? I'll be honest with you, Danny, I paid 275 bucks for it. Give me a profit. You may have overpaid for this. By about how much? By about 175 bucks. <laughs> $280, I'm only making five bucks, and I'm buying drinks tonight. How about this, man? How about 100 bucks cash right now, and I'll buy the drinks tonight? Just admit it, you paid way too much for this thing. I'm never going to admit anything. I'll see you tonight. Thank you, brother. I'll see you tonight, man. We'll have a good time. OK, sometimes you gamble and lose. But I doubt if I'll ever hear the end of this. I guess I just got to wait a day or two till my son screws something up, and everyone will forget about it anyway.